What we trying? Boba. What kind of boba? It's the original. What's the original I have name? Tapioca tap balls. Tap they are. No, the boba balls. Boba. No, <laughs> boba. Tapioca. Tapioca. I thought it you called tapioca tea. Because the the balls are the tapioca. Ah, she got the original, original tapioca milk tea. She got the original tapioca milk tea, and I got the coconut. And we gonna see what it's gonna be hitting like. Now let's see what it's hitting like. It's a hit of coffee. Why am I so strong? I think I like mine. Mm. 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 It really tastes good. But, um, I like the my coconut tastes like a pina, a pina colada drink. You think the ball is overcooked? Yeah, they're not really chewy, like more easy to chew. I like extra boba. Mm -hmm. Is this fattening hmm? this drink? No, of course not. Y'all, I decided to get coconut because I love coconut. But he was suggesting next time I get the one. What he said with coffee? I think that would be nice because it'll give a little hint. With the coffee? I think it would be nice. He said he'd um, get the one with the coffee jellies and that have coffee like little jellies at the bottom. Mm hmm. This got a hint of coffee in it. And a hint of tea, too. I, I taste a hint of tea. Mm hmm. <laughs> You want me to taste yours? And you can taste mine. Mm. I don't know if you're going to like it, but I like it. Yeah, I like that. It's not tasty. It's not like an ashtray. No, it does not. Like a throwback cigarettes. Like you, you ain't got no cigarettes. And um, you looking in your ashtray for... um. Or a jailhouse, cause you ain't got the money to buy no cigarette. That tastes like coconut grease. I don't like that one. Mm -mm, I like mine though. <laughs> mine ain't even that cold. So it that like, was freshly made. It was. You seen it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all, I guess I like mine. I guess cause it was freshly made. Hit of mint. I'm just tasting the hit of everything. Like, try that straight up smoke out ashtrays. <laughs> it's like you digging in the ashtray for a jailhouse. Mm. I, I like the um, I like what you call them tapioca. Mm -hmm. I like the tapioca balls. Mm mm. Y'all just want to get on here and let y'all know we trying this bubble tea. I just wanted to see what the hype was. There ain't nobody coughing in the kitchen when they're cooking our food. And we got the um temporal. What is this? Temporal or tempera? Sushi rolls. Cook sushi rolls. Right there. That was the one we had. Mm -hmm. I thought that was. Yes. And for that food, y'all. I think they will be back. Yes, it is. I don't know if they have coconut and stuff in actual. I don't know if they have all of those things, but I know they do have both tea. She high class. This shit high as hell. But anyway. Folk like that, it's time for them to get a job. I'm hoping to get you, get you, get you. Get your stuff. You want me to say something? 
This is our sauce. I just love what are we eating, eating today? Plate. What are we eating today? Sushi. What kind of sushi? Honey, give me my fault. Shrimp. She got chopsticks. Shrimp. Mm -hmm, that's yours. Mm -hmm, that's right. That's yours. Uh -uh. Mine at the bottom. Uh -uh. Mine See, at the bottom. Yeah. I always try to bag me. Girl, I ain't trying to bag. Uh uh. You give first. Me messed up stuff, huh? that, that stuff ain't messed up. But it don't look like it did when we were sitting in there when we went the other day for your birthday. Then it looked bigger. Or it was just they the way they started. They gave us like up. 10 rolls. They gave us like 10. I don't know why they I tried to get the one that we had that, that day. They only gave us six What you need, a 10? You needed more. No, I'm good, but I'm just saying. They definitely gave us less. Expensive eating, honey. Expensive eating with her, baby. She's expensive. Well, this is just a little bit more than a fucking phone. But this is what it looks like, y'all. And when I say it's good, it's good. It's what she got over there? That, that, that um, wasabi mm -hmm. and that ginger. You gonna eat that? Yeah. You go ahead. I like it. But this is some bomb bomb. Cause we usually we usually eat the raw sashi, the um sushi. I don't remember having this red stuff on that. Though. That's that um, what it is? Chili oil. No, it ain't. Mm hmm. Mm, like the one. The one that when we was at the table, it would taste the better. It was bigger and fluffier. I know. When you had this sushi in there, I'm I'm this um what it called? Not sushi, but what it is it? Hmm. Cucumber? Mm-mm. Yeah, we didn't have it. That's avocado. We didn't have the avocado in there. We didn't have, we didn't the, have the um Mm. The seaweed. Yeah, we did. We didn't have no cucumber in there. Mm. And it wasn't no fish eggs on top. Oh, that fish eggs. Mm, that's what they did. <laughs> they Look on the menu. Maybe I ordered the wrong thing, honey. Or the wrong one. Thank you for the food, girl. Unless that day we were just hungry. Cause the other one, it had like that spicy. We um, already eaten. It had like that spicy stuff on there, didn't it? Like that spicy um, main main What I was saying, we was already. I don't know what she gave us. We was already eating. Mm-hmm. When we had gotten the rolls. But anyway, y'all, I think we ordered the wrong one. And she ain't even give me no shrimp inside of it. It was the sumo roll. The sumo. That's the one we had with the shrimp tempura eel avocado. It was eel in there. I know you lying. I ain't eat no eel. Avocado with eel sauce on top. That was the one that was so good. Because mm -hmm. I remember her saying it. Oh, I suggest the sumo roll. Because they were nasty. You want to go in there and get it? Can we switch it out or something? Hold on. Ain't all these folks here. Not really. You only ate two rolls. They only gave us six. I'm just gonna eat it though. Go in there and get the sumo rolls. I'm just gonna eat it. I want the sumo rolls. All right. We'll be back, y'all. If you wanted to come on here and talk about um, who we want to talk about, mom? What we just seen on um, YouTube news and this is the YouTube news feed. And I don't know if y'all familiar with Peach Patch or Peach. She called her um 
subscribers Peach Patch, but her name is Peach. And she put up little things on her page about how ways to get money and ways to be, you know, sufficient when you're getting off of welfare, section eight and all that other type of stuff like that. But uh this just stayed like the same one I had. Mm. I don't like the cucumber in this it's one. It's the same one. It's cucumber in this one. <laughs> this is the same one. There's no cucumber. This you see the cucumber? cucumber in that one. This is the same one. They you tricked don't. us again. They tricked us again, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, they tricked us. I think it tastes better warm. Mm-hmm. We say hi. We say cook. I want cook. I mean, you're gonna be hot and give me that. I'm so tired of the little girl talking to me. She act like she know it all. I'm not acting. It don't mean that it's hot. It's gonna be hot. It just means that everything is out the road. No, I want my stuff. I want my stuff hot and cooked. Thank you. Hey, mama. Mm. But anyway, she like she put me on one of the movies. <laughs> but anyway, honey, um, so she put up. She put up a post stating that she was gonna um start doing her classes for nine hundred and ninety six dollars. And so I went straight to the comments to see what an hour. A hour. Yeah, nine hundred and ninety six dollars an hour. So I went to the comment to see what the um subscribers, you know, her supporters was gonna say about it. And some of them I don't think some of the comments was negative. I was just thinking that there was they, they was they were entitled to their own opinion. I don't think no one bashed her or said nothing negative. They were just saying, you know, they that was their opinion. Nah, it was a couple folk who was y'all don't know. It was a couple folk I lied. Like that one man. What was that? I forgot when he said something. He said I said he didn't have to say all that. Oh yeah. He was very disrespectful, y'all. I'm not gonna repeat it. Y'all can go over there and look at it. He was just way out of line. That now that was just way too much disrespect. But um, these do not taste like them sumo rolls that we had on Simone's birthday. They taste so different. I don't know what this, what in the world they just gave us. They just stopped up some stuff and put it in the roll. Mm. I can't repeat it. Hell, hell. What this one? Where? Other way. That's that stuff of the um the roll. That ain't no here. You know the roll right here. Mm. What they call seaweed? The seaweed. Mm. Oh, I think I got some of that. Some I should have got the pineapple one. The um. The pineapple. Mm-hmm. I don't like the pineapple that. bubble tea. Oh. Mm. I'm not a huge fan of cucumber. It's making me not like cucumber at all. Come on, girl. You can transfer that over to your car. I don't want no more. I'm tired of that now. I don't want to see that no more this year. But anyway. So, y'all, she was like, um, some of them just. Yeah, it was a couple of negative comments on her post, but my to, for my for me in my opinion, I feel like that's a bit too much. Whether you got money or whether you don't, whether you have it to splurge or whether you don't, and also the information that she's given 
it's also free on YouTube. You just have to take out your time and your day and just watch some videos how to start a YouTube channel and how to edit and how to do certain things. It was that it could, it's a lot of people who just forget everything. Like they get too excited when they get into that new era. That and position. They, and they get to, high place. they get to be able to splurge and spend money on, you know, a lot of stuff that's not needed. But anyways. I'm gonna be, um, when they start when they start to do stuff like that their humbleness start to leave and then they start to do more crazy stuff for views and for, and money. for money and somebody then, was saying that she was greedy people that's what i they got it's a greed for money that's what i got because if you're trying to help people who do not have why would you raise it to nine if you really giving back to the community and try to help people get on their feet why would you raise it to almost a thousand dollars who people who cannot who can barely pay their rent i honestly you thought it was clip, i honestly thought it was clip blade i don't know i don't know i thought it, it was like it, a clip blade to bring it could be a, a publicity stunt, stunt. stunt. Uh, yeah, i don't know it could be a publicity stunt i don't know she probably just trying to get people to talk and stuff I don't to know, see what but, would they say i don't know you never know that why i said you can't be too quick to talk, but me personally. But she had it up there for too long for it to be a position. For six hours. And then she put it all in bold. <laughs> she put in bold in letters. bold letters. Like, girl, mm, I don't peach, know. Peach. But, um, I don't know, but I feel like now the, the, the crowd that she's um, trying to You have to be to. very careful because they'll fall back. Now she's trying to relate, put it, you know yeah, but now she's twisting it and switching it up. And they like, nah, baby, this ain't who, this ain't who we started looking at in the beginning. What, what going on? But then a lot of people, they could take what she's saying in a different way, like in a negative way. Um, but, you know, if some she, people have she money, might, they and might. then some people have money, so they'll say stuff like, uh -huh. oh, just if you don't have the money to pay for it, just say that. Uh, a lot of or people were saying you know, that. They were saying uh, similar like, to that type of stuff. And well, I was just like, let this hey. girl get her money. If that's what she want to charge, if that's what she want to want to do, let her do that. But the main purpose for this whole thing to start was, was to, to help get others. People off and their I believe, feet. And I believe that was her prayer. Was to help others. So how can you do that with such a high price when people can barely pay off their bills? Okay, mm -hmm. that doesn't make sense. Almost a thousand dollars. That's a mortgage right now. That's just a few dollars from a thousand. I might as well go and round it up to a thousand. Yeah, that's a, almost a th thousand dollar right now. That's just ridiculous. That's girl. Ridiculous. I felt like that when you had me order that high shit. <laughs> well, that was thirteen dollars. We already paid sixteen dollar for the two trays. Then I said, uh, uh, I want the sumo because I was looking for the taste that I had the other day on her birthday when I took her out there. You know, what is it? The place where they cook it for any you mm -hmm. in? Then she looked up and said, ooh, bubble tea. And I'm like, $9 for tea. Yeah, they, they taxes must be high because yeah. it was $3. I feel like that with you. <laughs> but yeah, honey. But yeah. So y'all, what y'all think about it, honey? But I just, I'm just a firm believer. God put us here on purpose and everything that he give us is not for us. Hello. It's I not for not us. Thing. He's gonna bless us. He's gonna give us the, the, the desires of our hearts. But majority of that stuff, we gotta give but out. I feel like when God, we gotta give out the when, wisdom, when God, the blessing, the money. Exactly. And we gotta like give it out. With God, gotta give when it back. God bless you like that, and you're where you want to be. That's when you really should start your ministry, and you really yes. should start giving you should out. Start it when you ain't got nothing. Yeah, and you really should start telling your. You know testimonies, testimonies, and telling how so other people can grind like you did, and they can get to where you are. They can pray like you did. Uh, basically, she's going to have her, her, um, uh, jacked up her prices because it's, she feel like it's not for everyone to get or have. I don't know, but I just feel like my camera head went out, y'all. I just feel like people with this skin color. They go overboard when they get in a high position or of, of authority. They don't know how to act. Like, I'm pretty sure their prayers was God. Before. I promise you that their prayers was God, please. If you bless me in this position and if you this and if you that, I will help the other people beneath me. 
I will help them come up. I will help them come up the ladder. I will help this and I will help that, this and that, that and that and that. And then at the end of the day, when they get where they need to go and God take them, it's a lie. Like one particular lady I came across, she was trying to make it hard for me. Like she, she has the type of attitude and she will tell you, she would say, oh, why would I make it hard for, why would I make it easy for others and it was hard for me? I don't get it. That's the worst mindset you could ever have. I feel like if it was hard for me, why would I make it hard for somebody else? Especially a single mama with little babies and children and no matter what the situation is, even for a man, not, I'm not just talking to no, but the single it. community of huh. Latin women or parents. There's some single fathers out there and I'm not just talking about people with children. It's people with no children. Why make it hard for them? Because it was huh. hard for you. Say for instance, when that a don't person, fly about when like a that. person was, was raised like, say for instance, this is the example mm -hmm. of how this terminology, like, just this is the example, okay? So, say for instance, if I were to ask an old person, like, from back in the day, I used to, if I were to ask, and I used to be like, mm -hmm. um, and I'd be like, um, hey, did you like certain things or certain ways, you know, that your parent taught you? Right. And they'll say no. And some would be like, no. And now, now that I have children, I would never put that, put them in that position. Right. But some of them will say, I had to go through that, so my children gonna have to go through that. So I'm gonna right. make my children go through that same pain. I'm gonna make my children, you know, get hit with a, hit with a bat and stuff too. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people who do that, and I feel like that's the same instance. That's the wrong thing. With being rich, a lot of people they'll get rich or they'll get to a good place with money, or to the point they can splurge it and throw it around everywhere, and they'll try to treat, treat people like dogs. They'll teach you. They'll try to treat you like you a peasant Lady. or something, like you a peasant. I be like, girl, this is not, girl. Y'all, I know we on here talking, but this stuff need to be talked about. Why it needs to be addressed. Why is these people acting like that? Then this lady, when I was moving from the apartment complex that I moved to now, I still haven't gave y'all my testimony about that, but I'm going to tell y'all about this part. I was trying to move. The lady made it her best to try to sabotage my name and my character. And remind you guys, I was just moving from Atlanta. I had to stay with my mom for a while, then I had eventually got me and my children to place. Um, associate of mine told me that they had some apartments available over there, so I checked them out. It was anything at the time. I was like, well, I need to be able to get out my mom's house because it's overcrowded. And, um, it was just I need to get my yeah, it was, it was a lot, lot going on, and I need to get my children. We need to get everything back on track because I was staying in the Atlanta area, and I was staying in this house for four years. But the man he decided that he wanted to sell, so I had so many days to get out. I couldn't find nowhere to stay in a quick in a hurry up there in that area, so I had to move back to make it. But honey, every apartment, every house that I applied for, everywhere that I went, and baby. It was a black woman sitting behind that desk working. Evil. Evil. You know what I mean? And she will work. She was working from sunrise to sundown on my behalf to try to get me to stay in that bad ass neighborhood. Where they were selling drugs. It was rats and roaches. They they it was shooting, shooting every, every night. night. When we go out the door, because you know I work at night. When I go out the door to go to work, I have to um, um, pray, which we shall pray at all yeah, times. You know what I'm But I had to worry about the cats, the dogs, dogs. the rats, the guns, the bullets getting robbed, yeah. getting stabbed, goats, uh, raccoons. I had to worry about all that stuff. <laughs> I went through y'all, and that's a testimony. And I thank God for bringing me out, honey. He brought me and my children out on top, honey. That lady kept going through everything. And I tried to get in nice houses, nice nice apartments 
everything would just kept going down and south for me. Me and my children, we had to live from hotel to hotel. But let me tell you about the good God. I give you glory, God. And this is not no play play. And I, I don't play with God. Now, I might come over here. I be silly. And I curse sometimes. I, I sure do. And, yep, and that's between me and God. And I repent to You better believe that. But I'm here to let you know. I'm not perfect. But he got me. And he had me and my children. But I bet you one thing. Every um hotel we went to, it was it was grand. When mom, mm -hmm. it was a nice hotel, and he provided that money, baby. He put, he kept that money coming in the bank for me and my children. Me and my children, we ate good and we didn't lose no sleep. How about that? And I'm gonna tell you how good God is. But that lady, she kept on and kept on, kept on trying to scandalize my name. Talking about I wasn't paying my rent. Talking about I was late. I think that lady said I was late 72 times. I did mean, not think was, I was supposed um, to pay rent 72 times. She you was, only be on a uh, um, lease for 12 months. But she was very much loyal. And you only pay rent for 12 months? What you talking about 72 times? Because I literally live, I live, I know my mom. She always get on rent out of the way, honey. She never, ever. I'm a firm believer. If you don't, if you can pay that right. rent and you can pay them uh, light bills, baby, and that wall and keep that car in that home. In two miles, take the exit on the right. Out there and, and, and dig up a hustle and get it going, baby. Get it popping, and you'll get all them other stuff that need to be met. Them ends will get me. But honey, she, I just don't understand about the black people. I don't understand no more, y'all. And I'm not prejudiced of my kind. I love my culture. I love my people. I love all cultures. But it, enough is enough. But it really got me to where I don't want to work around them. I don't want to be around them. I don't want to be in their presence because some of them, not all of them. The ones that are in high places, they look down on you and they believe in you and they could be that they could be the nastiest. The nastiest prey people. And there's some Caucasians that's nasty too, y'all. It's some it's some of those that's out here. It's all it's all, ca, ca, it's all cultures that have some nasty attitudes. It's a lot of carrots. Or what they call <laughs> nationalities. Yeah. Yeah, it's but, not um, just black folks, y'all. But the like one mainly, but I'm telling y'all my experience what I've like, been through. Well, with my like, culture, you don't think that we will stick together, and you know, I hear all this on the internet about in half a mile. Yeah, take exit 146 for Georgia 247 towards Centerville Warner Robins. She was laying at the bottom of my bed. Me and my children, we had to sleep in one room and one bed because all the other part of the house was infested, infested, infestation, infested with roaches and rats and mice. I would not lie. Um, take exit 146. Four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, upstairs and downstairs, garage, backyard. No ba roaches. Back all right. Yard. Big, big in a quarter backyard. mile, keep left at the fork. Follow yard. signs for Houston County Medical Center. Camera, camera, camera community. What, what they had, the, um, what you keep left at the fork, then turn left onto Georgia 247 yeah. Connector yeah. East. Well, you must have your, um, um what is the, the HO? Is the, the HO policy. something, something, something? Yeah, it was the policy. Wait. But, honey, it was nice. And every house that I I was in. Turn so left onto Georgia 247 Connector East, Centerville Road. And that was, while I was up there in the Atlanta area, it was nice. God always blessed me. He always would catapult me into greatness to where it was. It felt like to where me and my kids, we had that life. And we still got that life. God got us. I rely and depend on God. That that's my only source. That's my provider. That's my only source and provider. Cause He worked out things for me and my children. But if you were to look at my living where I came from and the way I was living and the things that I can afford and the things that I can have, it was nothing it but was, God. It would let you be yeah. like, God, where a husband at? But it must be two parents in this house. It wasn't no two parents in this house. It was God. It was Continue God. on Georgia two forty seven connector east for three miles. Made us more strong and humble. And it made us, and it made, uh, and it made our faith grow in yes, God more. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, because let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. When I was in that place where we were before, I had, I, I tell you, I had a relationship with God, but I did not have a relationship with God. If you feel what I'm saying, like I didn't yeah. have a one on one. It was right. always with other people. Like I would, right. you know, pray and. You know, but I had to learn for myself. And this this season, honey, this season when we came down here, honey, that's when I started that, learning. That we just came and out. And then of. that's when my eyes start opening to people who 
not supposed to be in my life, people who wasn't there for me, people who's trying to get me, trying to destroy me. And, and this I, might be a long video, y'all. I'm going to let Simone talk, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. That card is good. And I'm, yes. I'm not talking about peach. And I'm not, I just feel like that price is a little bit too high, but that's her business. But I'm just, I just want to let y'all know God is good and God has, God is real and God has been good to me and my children, for me and with me and my children came from. We were homeless, y'all. We, it was like we came from a palace to the, to the gutter, to the slums, and went and nobody help us, like nobody. Everybody fled. They like, turned their back. My friends, family, like, as and as I'm, as I'm here to let you know, like, I don't got it all together. I don't think no one has it all together. This life is a learning experience. It's from learning to learning from, you know, different, we got to go to different dimensions in God, different levels, different heights. And, you know, I understand what Peach doing, you know what I'm saying? She might be happy that God got on this platform. She making money and this and that. But we also got to be mindful. We also got to be careful and, and, and continue to be humble. You know what I'm saying? To, to remember our assignments and what this platform and what this success and riches are for is an assignment. It's not just for us, but it's for others that's going to come across us. And we can be held accountable for that when it's time to go home to get in, the, get in heaven and judgment day. He's going to hold us accountable for whatever and whatever we didn't do that he told us to do. You understand what I'm saying? So we got to really, 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 really be careful when we have money and when he take us high and low we have to learn how to be content in every area of our life we have to learn how to unfold and fold our hands with every situation that we go through don't you come out there don't you come out there i'm telling y'all y'all these, these georgian people they drive crazy down here but um i just want to give them all glory and i'm giving them all glory in front of y'all and i just want to let y'all know the one that helped me in my life me and my children is god is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. That that I am, that I am. He the one that helped let me. me. Let me tell you but something. can I finish? I'm gonna let her talk. Yeah. But um, God is good, and the way the people did me is it, oh my God! I had friends. I asked, can I stay with them? Some of them ignored me. <laughs> Some of them threw off like uh uh honey, cause this is it's a full house over here. <laughs> but um, I I learned that every trial you go through in every situation that you might go through because we're going to have to go through trials and tribulations. God never said it'll be peaches and cream. You understand what I'm saying? You got to find your happy point in that stuff. You got to find that positive point. You can't keep dwelling on a negative. They don't like me or they hate me or I won't know I hate this life or turn your back on God, you got to keep rolling with them punches. And like I said, you got to find the good and the bad. And that's the only way you're going to survive. You lean on him and pray and find that good and that bad and keep on going. Because when me and my children was going through that trial, I think me and my children were in and out of hotels by for, I guess I want to say by for two to three months. And that was that it was a long time where I just didn't come on here. I wasn't there at that point. And then I, yeah. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Margie Drive. I was uploading um, videos. I was in this apartment. And I don't know, y'all probably would have seen that all my stuff was in containers. Like I had to put my clothes, my shoes, my children's clothes and shoes. Like we had to put majority of our stuff in containers. Turn right onto Margie Drive, then turn left. We had to put our food in containers and put it on top of the refrigerator, honey. So the rats and the roaches won't get into it. Okay, it was it was. Turn left. My daughter, she, cause I'm I like to buy my children a lot of clothes and a lot of shoes and stuff. I'm into fashion and stuff like that. But um. In one thousand feet, your destination will be on the right. Her closet, she had to throw away a lot of shoes because of the rats and the mice feces and poop. And she had to throw away some pajamas, some clothes, cause they were biting on her clothes. Like it was real. When, we, when me and my children moved to, it was real. And the only person that got us up out of that situation was God and God alone. And it took faith. Like I told earlier, like I told y'all earlier, that faith word is strong. And if you don't make it, if me and my children didn't make that faith walk and talk and made that step so God can do the rest, we would still be stuck in Egypt over there in them apartments shooting. 
and 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 going dodging bullets every time we go to sleep when we get up Not and go to the Egypt. bathroom. <laughs> That were the Egypt one. They was in. They was in. Um, what the Egypt lights was in? The Egypt. They was stuck in Egypt. The Israelites. Oh my god. They were stuck and bound, and we was we were messed up, y'all. But I'ma tell y'all when I was doing my videos, God continued to supply. He supplied the rent. He supplied all my needs to according to His riches and His glory. God continued to supply my children, make my children safe, and that was the time we was going through that. Um, we were still going through the um Corona the pandemic yep and i was kind of happy that we was in the pandemic y'all i don't know about y'all if y'all can go back <laughs> to some of my videos i used to say i'm kind of happy about this one cool. <laughs> i didn't want my children going to them schools over there on that side of town it's kind of rough but this target is packed today honey what is it i know it's a saturday but dang i want me some target popcorn yeah, i think they, they were talking about taking this little say, um honey. i think they were talking about taking a little your destination is on the right God humbled God us. We was already always, humble though, weren't we? Yeah. But he humbled us among. We thank him for it. And we did not, not one time did we act snobbish in them houses. But it's and like the jobs he gave me and the money. We, were we didn't too, act. But we were too comfortable to it. We, we probably didn't were realize what was, finna happen. what was going on around us. Because yeah. as soon as we left, as soon as we went to We had a thing, big eye opener. And when I started, people. when I started deepening my relationship with him, I started to see. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I was just like, Lord, you done saved me and I done dodged about 10, 15 bullets. And she, she dodged baby. some real bullets. Tell her about the bullets when you were laying down. Babe, I ain't I never seen like... no bullets. <laughs> I ain't never seen no bullets come upstairs. I'm in the upstairs apartment because I thought me and my children were safe if we get the upstairs apartment because we in the hood. Child, them folks are trying to come upstairs and get you. Them niggas, they will climb on the wall right. like spiders. They don't care. And that, tell me if that bullet didn't come up through that window. Honey, the bullet did, honey. Through the brook. Through, through the brick. Through the brick wall. All we heard, pie, pie, and the third one. Right through the side of my window, and through the brick in the wall, I and I think get... that not, we feel like that was meant to be. Somebody was plotting. Yeah, and I was finna get up, and I was finna, cause my head was hurting so bad, mm -hmm. and like when I'm in pain, like I can't sleep. It wasn't meant to be and for my, my daughter mom, to get shot. Yeah, but we were saying they were meaning to shoot at my apartment. Right. We do not know these people. And my mom, I lived here years ago. My children is from Macon. Yeah. I left Macon by for 11 to 12 years. I came back. This is when my children was little. I raised my children up there in the Atlanta area. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I didn't. I told myself, and my, my oldest, she graduated up there. I told myself that we ain't finna, I'm not finna do this. We're not doing this. You know what I'm saying? The way society is with my kids and my sons y'all not gonna have them these are these are men and women of god that i'm raising in my house you know what i'm saying but simone finna tell your testimony about that bullet and my mom was asleep we just got done talking and she ended up dying. i just got out of work she it was like i just got work yeah, and i had to do some earrings yeah but then we, she ended up dozing off Mm. And it was about the usual time where they start acting up. You know what I'm saying? They start doing what they doing. It was like, and it I was, called, then I called in was, at night. Yeah, and it was like the time that they usually do it is at six, seven, because it was getting dark early because it was summer time, and that's how was you it knew. summertime? Was it summer? I thought it was getting cold. It was getting close to like Christmas time. Remember? Because the last I was doing, I was doing vlogmas. You I don't sure know y'all. I was doing vlog miss, and it was the 14th day. I made it to the 14th day. Y'all ain't see me, right. no right. me no more. You right. Y'all did not see me no more. I was way. fighting and running for my life. Oh yeah, you right. In the summer, in the summer, it get dark late. In the summer, it get dark late. Early. It get dark early. This it get time. dark. No, the winter time Don't it get dark. Yeah, the winter time it get dark early. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So it got dark. It get dark mm. early at like around six, seven, and that's how I knew it was young folks who was doing this stuff, y'all, because it will be right at six and seven. I'm like, now what? Who was out at six, seven in the afternoon, busting, busting bullets? Who's doing that? But honey, we was talking. She went to sleep, 
and my head was hurting. I was finna get up and get an ibuprofen, and it was over where the bullet hit. It was over there where the bullet hit. Well, I keep my medicine. Yeah, there. it was. It was over in that area. Mm -hmm. I had went to get up, but something told me to sit down. And we know that was all spirit. It was. It was loud and clear, y'all. It was no way I could not listen. Like I was like, oh, I lay right. <laughs> I just lay right back down, and next thing you know, a bullet, bullet start busting. But it sounded way too close this time, so we were just like, and then next thing you know, the third bullet it went through the wall, and I had hair. I think I had shook you up mm -hmm. on the first bullet. On the first bullet, I shook up and I said, "Mom, they yeah, I was shoot. so tired. I said it sounded too Cause close. Cause you wouldn't think that a bullet would come up and yeah. stab. You know what I'm saying? And I was me. like, I was like, "Mom, it sounded a little bit too close." Now you. Uh-uh, we gonna have to, we gonna have to move. He thing, that thing, you know, it came through the, the uh, wall. You see all the debris and all that type of stuff. And I had hurry, we hurry up and rolled on the floor. And I think it was one more shot after that one. It is. <laughs> It wasn't a more shot that one. I don't know. It was the next day the shot. Right. And it's like they was. And we heard somebody screaming. And we thought, no, she, we really thought that somebody was crying. Like somebody um got shot or something. But girl, we went. We went in there and it was the movie, girl. It was the movie that was playing. I was a mom. Yeah, it was the movie. That That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, we was, I was just crying. We was we crying. Was like, uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> what movie that was with all that wheel? But it was wheeling. like this uh, scary movie that we were watching. It, and a lady, yeah. she was crying for her daughter. Ooh. And she was just crying. And it was that loud. Yeah, it was loud. And it was screaming. Ooh. Yeah. And we thought it was a lady. Like that. that. And then the shots were getting worse and worse. I went in the thing and I said, Mom, that was the TV. Because she was still crying. It was the same cry. I said, Mom, mm -hmm. that was the TV. That is just crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we finna end this. Um, but you want to know something? Um, the people who did it. Target with, the people um, who did it, Mom, a couple of days later, mm -hmm. their little sister um, experienced the same thing. Yeah, the, I the little sister. I'm a, and then we moved, like, a, uh, I want to say a couple of months down when we got settled in the place that we are now. <sighs> on the news, a couple of teenagers, uh, one teenager, no, one grown man got shot out there on the, mm. on the front lawn. And then a teenager that was walking through the parking lot got shot. Mm. Shot dead. And I was saying, Lord, thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for shielding me and my children. Because we were coming in and out of that. And, you know, I'm from New York. I can live through anything. Yeah, but we, we stayed was, in the ghetto. We was taking out the Me child. and my mama and my my siblings, we, we come from the ghetto in New York. So I can deal with it. But as you get older, you don't want to deal with that. That ain't saying that you scared with you a punk. You don't want especially that type of lifestyle. Especially kids. when you have kids you know and you're trying to raise yeah. your children different. This is not it. We we don't want a game bang. We don't want pop pop pop. We don't, we don't want to do that. We want to go to school. We want God. We want the things of God. We want to be big in God. If it ain't coming from God, we don't want it. Bye. Now I, I, I want my channel to grow. Yes, I do. I want my channel to grow, and I want and I know God gonna make it be big. My channel and the content that I got coming is gonna help somebody. It's gonna win some souls over to Christ. It's gonna do a lot. It's going to do a lot, this channel, that God got me on this platform. It's a platform for me for a reason. And and, and, I, and, and and I honor that. And I bless God for it. You understand what I'm saying? But when he get ready to take me up that ladder, and it's going, believe me, it's going. It's going to go when he say. You feel me? Mm. So, and I, I just wait on the Lord. I, I wait on daddy God. I don't want nothing quick. I don't want it like that. If I got to get it from Shirley, Mary, Donna, and, and, and Tika and them, and they in doing witchcraft and and and, and they, they 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 worship the devil and getting it some other type of way. I don't want it. Like, I'd rather sit there in the cold eating saltine crackers until God come give it to me. Maybe. Until he give me a solution or a way and tell me to do this faith walk or whatever he got for me to do. I want to do it that way. The other ways, I don't want it. Just give me you, Lord. What you finna say? And at the moment, say this. We finna in this video and we finna go yeah. and target. Y'all have to listen to what 
to God when that voice come and he ain't gonna tell you nothing bad now. Mm -mm. He ain't gonna tell you nothing bad now. Mm -hmm. All right. But um <laughs> but because we love daddy God over here. When it's something telling you in your like it's in your gut, baby. It's in there. And it's something keep telling you don't go somewhere or don't do that or don't be friends with a certain person. Get away from that certain person. Listen to that. Girl, we got a lot of because, girls. baby. Girls, we got a lot, a lot of testimonies on here about the girl, about the friends, girls. About the girl, friends that we thought that. that we were friends. Girl, if y'all want to hear that, girl, head over to my channel, honey. I'm going to hit promote. <laughs> don't, don't promote your channel, honey. I'm going to hit promote my channel, honey. It's called Simone's Life, honey. And I'm going to tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on now, girl. <laughs> But we love y'all and we thank y'all for the support. And I'm still going to be on here even though I got my own channel. I'm yeah, gonna we're going to support here. each other. And she going to be I'm on my I'm pretty sure these followers now. over here, my support is going to go over there and support you, girl. Hey, that right, y'all girls. We love y'all. Thank y'all for the support mm -hmm. that we do have. You finna saying what you say about God? You know what I'm saying? I said they need to listen to um, what he say. What he say. <laughs> When he say do something, when you do it the first time, don't mm -hmm. have to. Uh, and just off experience, I'm telling us, you, we second guess the friendship, the second guess yes. everything, the dreams, if you, the visions, yes. and everything. We exactly. like, nah, that the devil. Mm -mm. If he's sending you something, honey, God will show you. God will real to it. Listen to it. But if you're really not sure about something, all you gotta do is pray, go back to sleep, and he'll show you. And just pray again to show. He's a long time gone. Yes, he is. Cause I'm He's telling you, every time, time I'm telling you, I'm gone. Every time I'm out of y'all. Yes, he is. He may not come when you want him. I don't know that song, but he show sure will show up on time. <laughs> He's a long time God. And patience oh, is yes key. Because God always know the and right be time. be grateful. We all have to be patient and grateful. And I ask God all the time to bless me with the attitude of gratitude. Because and what, that because attitude we said, of gratitude, we went humbleness these, is the key, baby. We went through all and that we finna get out month. of here. Peace out. Peace out. That's a New York slang. Peace out to the Middle East. My partner, my brother, my partner, partner, brother. <laughs>